Hi, I'm Lloyd from Bumstead Bicycles, and we just received in one of Trek's top of the line full suspension mountain bikes. This is the 2022 Fuel EX 9.8 GSX. So let's take peruse here and get a look at it. So what this bike is, is Trex, one of Trek's top of the line full suspension bikes. So you have a carbon fiber frame, carbon fiber rims, carbon fiber handlebar. Um, you also have then from SRAM, their newest electronic shifting derailleur system. So instead of a cable running to the derailleur to shift gears, it is all done electronically. So you can physically shift gears from the shift lever and it electronically shifts back. Very positive, very accurate shifting. Wonderful to use, easy to adjust, even comes with an app for your phone. Just amazing shifting and SRAM's widest range of gears yet. So always, always the right gear for you. And rims, they're the Bontrager Line Elite carbon fiber rim. Um, anytime you can lighten up rotational weight just makes huge advantages in performance. And now because of disc brakes, carbon rims just keep getting lighter and stronger. Just an amazing rim will definitely add to the performance of your bike. Um, also, since we're back here at the back of the bike, Trek is using boost widths so that especially on the, the bigger wheels, that wider stance will make for a much stronger wheel, um, much stronger overall wheel, um, better tracking, better tire clearance. And again, boost technology sounds fancy, but it's a wider hub stance. Um, another feature since we're back here, Trex Act pivot design allows for better braking and suspension because their pivot point is at the axle rather than above or below the axle. Um, works awesome especially on bumpy downhills where you're trying to break and you need your suspension still very active this design just works amazing um, they've got some really cool videos of of how that works with their slow motion photography and video just shows how the difference between a bike when you're braking and it doesn't have this pivot point and when you do and the difference in the travel Since we're also back here, SRAM's G2 disc brakes, um, beautiful stopping power, nice, clean, goes along with the whole other component package. So again, you're going with SRAM for brakes and derailleurs, lots of stopping power. You're gonna need it on a bike like this. You're gonna find yourself going really fast. Another feature Trek uses that's, that's very nice called the Minolink. With just the turn of a, an Allen wrench, you can change the suspension. Um, it will adjust head tube angle about a half a degree, so you can go from slack to a slacker riding, and it will change your bottom bracket height about 10 millimeters. So again, switch of an Allen wrench, you can tune your suspension very easily, um, depending on where you're riding or your riding style. Another thing on Trek suspension, their, um, their shocks have all been tuned specifically to their bikes. They even have a, a video and an app you can do to help you fine tune. I've been doing suspension bikes for years and years and years. And properly tuned suspension is the best thing you can do. Knowing how to adjust your suspension, damping, air pressure, all of those things just make for a so much better ride. If you jump on somebody else's bike and it's not tuned for you, you might not like the way that suspension rides. And it's because the guy weighs 30 pounds more, or 30 pounds less than you. Um, they may do big drop-offs and you never let your tires leave the ground. 
So learning to tune your suspension is really part of owning a suspension bike and, and Trek makes that very simple through their dealers, through their website, through the videos. And they've spent a lot of time. This is not an off the shelf Fox shock. It was made specifically for this bike. So works very, very well. And you just spent a lot of money on suspension. You want to take the time to make sure it works properly for you. Um, so enough said on suspension. <laughs> Trek spends millions of dollars to make sure these suspension bikes are the best in their class and spend a little bit of time tuning yours and you'll it'll pay off very well interesting little feature so again i mentioned this is a carbon frame very strong very light they've added a feature here that they started doing on their road bikes and that is a stash compartment comes with a nice little neoprene bag you can if you want to ditch your Camelback or other backpack and carry just the essentials. You got enough room in here for all your little tools and everything you need. Goes into this little bag hidden in the stash compartment and then still clips back on and you still got a place for a water bottle. Handy little feature. Um, next on the list, the hidden cables. So Trek on their suspension bikes and on, on any of their carbon, you have hidden cables on, on ports on each side, internally in there, places to clamp them down so that everything is nice, hidden, sleek, out of the elements, and very quiet. Sometimes when you route cables internally, you're gonna get rattles and noises. Trek has made sure that their cable routing is very quiet and very clean mounting system. Of course, on the front end, again, Fox shock, again, tuned specifically for this bike, lots of adjustment. Um, definitely, you wanna learn about that as you go. Again, tuning the bike, also boost technology, so you've got a wide range of tires you can run on here. And again, very stiff, very good handling. Um, truck. Another feature, they call it the knock block. Their engineers found to get the best strength to weight ratio that this down tube needed to be straight. Well, the problem with that is, is if you turn too sharp, your fork is going to hit this tube. So Trek has come up with a system with a protector here and a block that it, it stops right at the frame. So you can go in either direction, doesn't damage the frame, stops just before contact, and allows for one of the, the strongest frames on the market because instead of having to curve this tube, you can have a nice, very straight down tube on the frame. Again, engineering is everything. They've paid attention to all the little details, done everything they can to make these bikes the best that they can be. And again, it's these small little details that, hey, what can we do to solve this problem? And they solve it. This is the Trek 9.8, and it's new for 2022. Uh, guys that pay attention to details, you'll notice there's just a pair of Shimano clipless pedals. The bike does not come with pedals. And so then your dealer or yourself can choose which pedals you know, before the video, we had just installed these for someone to do a test ride. So again, doesn't come with pedals, but tons of different pedals you can put on there. Again, while we're down here, you can see the, the SRAM crank. Again, beautiful system of all SRAM components on this. One more thing, dropper post. Again, bikes in these price points, they're all gonna have a dropper post. This one is from Bontrager, their line posts. Been dealing with dropper posts for quite a while now. Easy to work on design, very few problems. Good amount of travel, great dropper post. Um, just a good all around bicycle. It's hard to be. I'm still just amazed by the electronic shifting. Just click a button, back and forth. Sweet, simple, um, easy to use. 
technology, you gotta love it. I would I would recommend this for anyone if you've got if you if you like to climb and you want a, a light but you definitely want to bomb the downhills, you want to go as fast or as smooth as possible on the downhills, having the carbon, having this quality suspension. Um, I, I would ride this anywhere. Probably the only thing, it's not a, a, not a downhill specific bike. You can definitely take some big hits, go off some good drop offs. Not a full blown downhill bike, but definitely a good all around suspension. I've had some customers that do very, that do light mountain biking, but they appreciate good quality suspension. They'll go this route because the EX is still very efficient on pedaling. Had guys that are more aggressive will go with this bike because they found maybe some of the other slacker angled longer travel bikes just weren't as efficient as they needed to be on the uphills. So definitely a good all around bike not a great downhill bike. If you're a cross country racer, not and trying to find the, the stiffest, lightest bike possible for racing, might look at more some of the other models Trek has to offer, but definitely a good all around bicycle for that customer that wants to climb, loves going down the hills, just good middle of the road, do a little bit of everything really well. Thanks for listening.